Welcome to the Center of Mathematics. Today I'll be going through a problem of the week. For more problems of the week, you can see our playlist. And for the full solution and problem transcript, you can see the link in the description um, of this video on our YouTube channel. So this problem of the week was something relating to the topic of number theory. Um, so many of you may be familiar with modular arithmetic, and I'm going to assume that the viewer of this video is fairly uh, well versed in how to compute things like this in modular arithmetic for the purpose of this video. Um, so the way that we're going to solve this problem is through what's called the method of successive squares. Because as you can see, 524 to the 893 is going to be some huge number. Um, and we want to get that number somewhere between 0 and 626. So the way that we're going to start out doing this is we're going to take this exponent and we're going to write it as a sum of powers of 2's. So we can do the following. So we take the exponent is 893. So you can say this equals 512 plus 256 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1. So now, as you can see here, all of these numbers are some product of 2. So, or some power of 2, excuse me. So we have here 2 to the 9th, uh, 2 to the 8th, 2 to the 6th, 2 to the 5th, 2 to the 4th, oops, I'm running out of room here, 2 to the 3rd, 2 squared, 2 to the 1, and then 2 to the 0. So we have just written our exponent, 893, as a product, uh, as a sum of powers of 2. So this is going to help us in computing in a series of steps this 524 raised to that power, which I will show here below. So we can start off by saying 524 is um, 524 to the 1. So we're going to start from this side, and we're going to raise 524 to 1, 2, 4, 8, and so on until we get up to 512. So we can say that 500, 524 to the 1 is congruent to 524 mod 627. And I'm just going to write some quotations here so I don't have to write mod 627 every single time. So now what we're going to do is we can say, OK, so we know that 524 to the 1 is 524. Whoops. So 524 squared is congruent to, and now we can just square this number here and reduce it under mod to 627. So you're going to need your calculator for this unless you're super good at doing mental math, um, which many of us are not. So the way that you do this on your calculator is you, you do 524 squared. And I'll also just write this as a side note. So you do 524 squared. That'll get you some large number. You divide that by your modulus, which is 627. You subtract off the whole number from your answer. So you just have a decimal left, some number less than 1, or between 0 and 1. You have some whole number. And then you multiply all of that by your modulus, 627. This is the procedure for finding, for calculating these numbers on your calculator. So I've already gone through them all, so I don't have to do them here while waiting. Um, so I can just, I know now that this is 577 mod 627. And so I continue on doing this. Same procedure. You square 500, 577, so you, you do 577 squared divided by 627 minus the whole number times 627 to find what this is congruent to. Um, if you're doing this on your calculator, due to the rounding error on your calculator, you might end up getting like some number like 0.9999 or 0 0.0001 or something. Um, just go to the nearest whole number and then I would, I would suggest retyping the number into your calculator so that you minimize rounding error later on. Um, so now we take 524 to the fourth, so we just square this, and when we reduce under the modulus, we get 619 mod 27, so 524 to the eighth. Squaring this, repeating that procedure, is going to be congruent to 64 mod, mod uh, 627. 524 to the 16th is congruent to um, 334 
mod 627. Um, I'm going to erase this over here so I have room to write the rest of the powers here. Okay, so um, actually, I'll just write this right here. Okay, I'll make a separate column here. So all of these numbers are in reference to um, modulus 627. So we just know that, but I'm not going to rewrite it every time. Um, so we have 16, so 524 to the 32. Squaring that number, you get um, 577. And so now here you'll start to notice you get a repeating pattern starting from here. So the next one is going to be um, 524 to the 64 is congruent to 619. Uh, 524 to the 128 is congruent to 64. Um, and then you have two more here, 524 to the 256 is congruent to 334. And finally, 524 to the 512 is congruent to 577. Great. Okay. So now that we've gone through this entire procedure and figured out all of these congruences, we can start multiplying them together using the properties of exponents, which I will show here. Um, so I'm actually going to have to erase this, but um, I will assume that you know you you will have written it down by this point, um, and just to save board space here. Um, I can also erase this probably. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is the equivalent of taking five, uh, 524 and raising it to the 893. So this is supposed to be raised this power over here. Um, so, so you can say that all this is in parentheses here. So using the properties of exponents, when we have numbers added in the exponent, we can just multiply them out like so. So this equals 524 to the 512 times 524 to the 256, et cetera. OK, so now we can determine what this is using the congruences that we had established before here, which unfortunately I already erased. But um, I have them written down here. so. OK, so now we can say we know that 524 to the 512, as determined before, is congruent to 577. And 524 to the 256 is congruent to 334. Uh, this is all mod 627. And using the rest of the powers, um, 524 to the 64 uh, is congruent to 619. Um, 524 to the 32 is congruent to 577. Uh, so I'll just continue writing the uh, here on the next line. So 524 to the 16 is congruent to 334. 524 to the 8 is congruent to 64. Um, 524 to the fourth is congruent to 619 again here. And squared, 524 squared, congruent to 577. And of course, 524 to the one is just congruent to 524. And this also, this congruence is um, mod 627. That's why we can say it's congruent to these things. So now I'm not going to go through step by step by step, but what you do here is you would follow the same procedure that you did before to calculate the powers of 2 under the modulus of 627. So what I mean by that is, for example, you would multiply 577 times 334. You would divide that number by 627, subtract off the whole number, and multiply by 627 to get what is congruent to under the modulus of 627. So you repeat that for all of these numbers here. Until you get to the very end, you should get some number between 0 and 626 because of the properties of um, modular arithmetic, excuse me. And so you'll get in the end that your final answer is congruent to 296 
mod uh, 627. So that is going to be your final answer. Um, I'll erase this here one second. So as you can see, we've reduced that giant number, 524, to the 893 into something much smaller and much more manageable. Some number, 296, that is between 0 and 626. And I might note that it's very easy to make um, arithmetic mistakes while you're doing this kind of thing on your calculator. You just type in one number wrong and you get the entire thing off by a little bit. Um, so it's, it's very important to be careful while you're executing these calculations. For more Problem of the Week videos, subscribe to our Problem of the Week playlist here on YouTube. For more math videos, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel here. And for more math um, and affordable textbooks and more content like this, you can visit centerofmath.org.